Hey everybody, welcome to part 23 of Let's Play Breath of Fire 2. And since last time I've decided to switch Rand into the party. He's also equipped with some super secret stuff, but I'll explain that later. When we last left off, we've just found Farmtown, which is a village of the Shell Clan, the Armadillo folk. So I figured Rand would fit in, and it looks like he is. Everyone's asking how he enjoyed the city, and he's welcoming him back. Because yes, this is Rand's hometown. So let's go on home and see what Rand's family's like. Maybe it wasn't such a good idea. A man in a full suit of armor being kicked out. Fended off by a woman wielding a... looks like a soup ladle. She's one tough lady. I don't blame you for hesitating, Rain. It doesn't look like she's in a great mood, but maybe seeing her boy finally come home will raise her spirits. <laughs> or not. Doesn't seem... Doesn't seem too happy to see you. Day one. As soon as we get back, she puts us to work. And we're just friends. We're just, we don't even know the guy that well. Yeah, he hasn't been in our party too much. So we have to help him. So yes, she's putting us to work out on the field to work on the farms. And she will not feed us if we don't do a good job. And we tend to like food and need it to live, so we're gonna we're gonna do our best. Yes, you actually do fight all these inanimate objects in the field. <laughs> Here we have the dreaded bush. It does nothing. It's about as exciting as it looks. Should be able to take it out in a turn or two. Depending on how many critical hits you get. <laughs> you actually do get some experience for it. No money, of course. And we also have tree stumps. These are like like a real tree stump. These are tr tough to get out. I believe. Well, I'll, you'll be seeing this in the annotations, but I believe they have about a thousand hit points. So. Thank God they don't attack, because I'm sure one hit from it would wipe us out. I wonder if Spar has any problem with this. Taking out stumps. Maybe he could help it grow back or something. Oh well, it's removed. And our last obstacle on the field is a rock. As you would expect, the rock has extreme defense. And so we'll use good old Gene's chop chop skill to go past it all. Everyone's doing one damage. Gene will do 80. <laughs> Way to show him up, buddy. And there you go. And we'll just take out these other two. And then we'll go for this last rock. And we'll be done. Or not. Oh my god. So yes, the last rock is actually a stone golem. Or solid golem. Or something with an S. Don't be... Don't rest here, because this guy will hurt you pretty bad if he feels like it. He does have a pretty high defense and a lot of hit points. So just wail on him all you want. I'm going to break out the dragon spells right away. We're in town, so we can, we can get the AP back easily enough. Try to defense down. I've gotten to the stick before in a test run. But not this time, so I decided to give up. Also, Rand has this special item called the Medusa Shield. This super secret, well, not a weapon, it's armor. I'll explain how I got that in another part. It's very good, as you notice, it casts offense up. So 
decided to raise reuse power and just have him attack regularly. I keep trying to put him to sleep, though it doesn't seem to be working. And other than that, we're just gonna have Gene keep doing chop chop and pretty much everyone else will just do regular attacks. Or not, we'll have Rand use some magic just because we haven't seen what he's been able to do in a long time. And just so Bar can actually do some damage and quit failing to put him to sleep. We'll have her cast cold eventually. Eventually. I've figured it out. So many choices, I wasn't sure which one to pick. Yeah. Time to turn the tables on the enemy. They've been casting 8.0 on us for hours now. We finally get to use it ourselves. Thanks to reuse souped up attacks, get out of there. We'll go tell his mother that we clear the fields and we also destroyed a monster that may have killed you in your sleep, but she doesn't seem too concerned about it. Because it's a nice bed to rest on, all four of us. A little bit awkward, but. Alrighty, don't worry about it, buddy. I know how it goes. Friends help friends. That's what we do. So what do you want us to do today, Daisy? I'm gonna go west. To Demanda. Pray for a good harvest. So N Saint Nemanda is the... The deity of choice here in Farmtown. Uh, it's the god of, I guess, agriculture and good harvests. So we'll head on out. And you can take the long way like I'm doing here. But first, we have to fight some gallops. Just like the. Shoot, who are they? The other monsters who look like this. These guys have nothing going for them. They are incredibly weak. They do attack fast, but that's all they got going. It's not going to do any damage when they do attack, so... They may have chosen their stats poorly. Keep trying that spore of spars, even though it usually backfires on us. His, his attack isn't as good as I'd like it to be, so I try to make him useful. <laughs> the end of the gallops. Now, like I was saying, you could take the long way and go up and around, but thankfully uh, here I remembered, oh wait, I have Gene in my party. Turn into a frog, and you can just hop up that cliff. Saves you a few random battles. Now we're at the cave of St. Namanda. And it's so pleasant in this little house. There you go, earth and crops. You get another toll in here if you have the casino town. We don't, so it's kind of a bummer. Just another inventory waste. Alright, if you come here beforehand, they won't let you in. You don't have a purpose. But now that we're here to pray for a good harvest, they know where we're coming from. Who are they to stop us? And apparently there's there's monsters running around this shrine. And they don't seem to mind. It's training for them. Speaking of monsters, here we fight our own. Along with the new one, the Keyhood? Not sure what that's supposed to be or how to pronounce it. They don't have anything going for them except for the poison breath. Which you can see taking effect. Other than that, they have regular attacks that just don't do much damage. And the tri eyes you've already seen, with their sap spells, and the bam pant is able to use cure 2, which is more of an annoyance than a danger. <laughs> It'll 
take an extra attack to finish him off. Other than that, nothing to worry about. Rain's doing pretty well, considering he hasn't been in the party lately. I did take some time to level him up on the side, just so it would be more balanced. We didn't have to carry him the whole way. And Rand's also got Cure Poison, which is great. <laughs> Since he's replacing Bao right now, he does a pretty good job of it, being a, another healer. Ah, yes, and here we talk to these two monks. Pay close attention to this. Did you get that? Because we are going to have to repeat that perfectly later on if we want a certain bonus in this game. Probably the most difficult side quest in this game. So you can't talk to all of them, but you can talk to some. These monks in training. They seem to directly oppose St. Eva's church. Though, not violently, but their beliefs are quite different from Eva's. Anyway, now we will continue on. Well, first we have a new enemy type, the Barracuda. I I fought them a few times just to make sure I they didn't do anything to me. Just the regular attacks and the occasional defend, but ultimately they just not much to them. They do have Egg Beater. I forgot to mention that, but the Egg Beater is not much damage anyway, so... Kind of a disappointing when you see a new enemy and they're not doing much, but... Then again, it's a nice change of pace from the Battle Ogres we faced in the canyon. So I guess take your reprieves when you can. Wipe them out. Alrighty, one more battle here. And then in the back of this cave, or the shrine, I suppose. <laughs> we have the... well, I guess this technically be the shrine. To Namanda. And you donate money to the god. That's... that's how you pray for a harvest. You only have to do this once to advance the story. However, if you do it 20 times, that's right, 20 times, you will get a bonus later on. So I definitely recommend doing it. I won't tell you what the bonus is, you'll see later. I did edit it, so you only saw me do it four or five times, but I did in fact do it 20 times. I figured you just didn't want to see me hit the A button over and over again. Alright, so we have prayed for good harvest. Let's head on back and see what Daisy wants us to do next. I've been back for a while. I've been here for two days already. You didn't see me work in the field. wonder if she's gotten anything planted yet. Uh-oh. It's the man in armor. He's come back. Uh-oh. Well, it's Daisy's handwriting, but that does not sound like Daisy at all. Mm, I don't know. How do you do a 180 like that? Yesterday she was beating you with a ladle, kicking you out of the house. And the screen just got darker. This is very sinister. Alright, Rand knows something's up and he's gonna give this paladin a beatdown by himself. Again, we'll use that super secret armor. Give him a nice boost. No amount of shielding is gonna protect you from this beating, sir. 
Now the two of them just wail on each other. I believe the Paladin is able to cast Cure 3, I believe, on himself. Thankfully he doesn't in this fight, so the fight is over pretty quick. Good job, buddy. Took care of that all by himself. Ray. We know him. He's a good guy. Hmm. I don't know. Even Ray says Daisy donated the land. And he's helped us in the past. I, I'm inclined to believe Ray, but I don't know about this guy in armor. Hmm. This is this Saint Eva is starting to sound somewhat sinister. I'm not sure how much we can trust in these people. Or, I hate to say it, I'm not sure how much we can trust Ray either. But for now, he's breaking up the fight. He's taking his goon home. So, we'll, we'll see what happens later on. Do I think Eva took her by force? Honestly, yes, I do. <laughs> Something is fishy. We met Daisy just yesterday, but she did not seem like the type of person to change her entire beliefs on a, in a single day. So now, the question is, how do we find Daisy? She's at the main, the head church. However, we're going to need to fly if we're going to get to that church, because, as you haven't seen yet, but I should have shown you before, there is a very tall cliffside island in the middle of the ocean that has no beaches on it, and so the Grandpa the Whale can't take us there. Like that guy said, there's no way to get there unless you fly. And that's true. And he mentions the people of Windia. I think we know. I think we have our clue on where to go next. If you remember, Windia was the town of the bird people. Everyone has wings on there and they talked about a great bird. Let's go dig up some clues. And also enjoy this new world map music. I believe this is the final music for the world map, so you'll be hearing this for the rest of our adventure. Not to say that we're almost done with the game, but we are, we are approaching the final act. That's perfect. That's where we need to be. We need to be in the sky. There's a great bird flying around. I think we're going to have better luck talking to these people with Nina, though. She's a windy, and maybe she can make some sense of them. So. Rand, we'll kick you out for now. Don't worry, we'll, we'll bring you back when we storm the church. It's your mother, after all, we know. It's important to you. And Nina has leveled up on the side as well. I've given her the best equipment I could. It's not as good as Rand's was, but it'll do. She's also leveled up a lot, so she has a lot of new magic that you haven't seen yet. And this guy still won't let us in the castle. We've been gone for weeks and months. Maybe we can talk our way in with Nina. doesn't even remember the ex-princess, the excommunicated princess. This guard refuses to let us in, but thankfully... Oh, the queen! The queen was listening at the door. She's gonna let us in. And that... How about this for a cliffhanger? That is where we're gonna let off for part 23. Thank you so much for watching. Part 24, we will be in Castle Windia again, and we will find a way to...
fly to this St. Eva church. I will see you for part 24. Have a good one. Later.